Welcome back to another video. If you guys don't remember, uh, about two, three months ago, I ended up shooting a Polo GTI. Uh, so this is Dylan over here. Um, and last time we did a review on it, but today we we're pretty bored. I'm also here with Manji, um, as you'll see in my next clip. But we just decided to come to the mountains, shoot something cool, and hopefully get some cinematics. So uh, Dils, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so I mean, you guys might remember uh, this Polo GDI from one of AJ's older videos. Uh, I got the sunglasses on today because I'm quite hungover, so bear with me. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got uh, you know we've got the intake uh, for the fat doses, mate. When you go in that chapel, uh, you know we've got. Um, I don't know what this shit does, but I, I like I, I personally like to put some rum in there. You know, if you if you rock up somewhere and you need a drink, you always got the rum there. Um, what else have we got? We've got the, the downpipe, mate. Uh, we've got the turbo somewhere in there. Uh, we've got all kinds of fucking new age shit, you know, like even things like you can put that there. That is revolutionary, mate. That is revolutionary. The bonnet even closes on its own, mate. There you have it, all the uh, amazing features of the Polo wow. GTI. Never before seen. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. <laughs> Crazy shit. All right, let's take this thing for a drive, guys. All right, guys, we're uh, down Mountain Highway. Now, Mountain Highway is known for their very nice tight corners and edges, and um, it should be a really point. good drive down here considering the uh, nice towgate turns that are available. Now I'm not going to be driving it too hard just because I have to respect Dylan's wishes of uh, not driving this too fast. But, um, <laughs> we're more paranoid. Should I close this for wind noise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. We're a bit more paranoid. Um, lately there's been a few unmarked highway patrol cops sitting around this exact road. So uh, we're both kind of in a position where we can't really lose our licenses again. So <laughs> yeah, so I am uh, being quite sedate with it, but uh, it's always fun. It's still um, a good road, like, um... I, I gotta give it to you, to this car, like, you don't get any responsive feedback because of the electronic steering. And it feels so, like, supple in terms of, like, such a smooth ride. But then... It can kind of creep up. We are in hitting the corners at a decent speed. I mean, I'm not really taking it towards limits, but this thing is holding its own as I press the accelerator and as I turn the wheel. It just grips to the road and there is no tyre noise either. So, and they're not even like decent tires on them either. Exactly, so. <laughs> and so it's a, it's a bit of a strange feel having that electronic steering feel with no feedback, but such a strong grip on the road. Um, it, it is weird, but it is also great. Um, it's like a bittersweet moment, uh, and, and, and it's good. I like it. Yeah, so it can we, it can be sometimes. Um, I suppose it almost creeps up on you a bit sometimes with the electronic steering. Yeah, you kind definitely. of keep going harder, harder, commit, commit, and then it's like, oh shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> so there is a bit of a fine line when it comes to like the I suppose the that's true. The that's limit true. of this car, mm -hmm. and you know, being a front wheel drive, that's yeah. You're always well, gonna run surprisingly, into we were taking corners. I won't say how fast, but <laughs> it was gripping the road. No screeching from the tyres. Tyres, I couldn't really say, being warmed up too much. Yeah, well, we've just sort of been doing a bit of shooting and stuff, so... Yeah, so this is actually really decent in terms of the way it handles. Um, maybe it's because of the tighter wheelbase that it's gotten a wider tread, like a wider stance, but a, a shorter wheelbase. Um, and I mean, I suppose, you know, having the lowering springs in it as well yeah, obviously helps well, a bit. Oh, yes, definitely that too. I was surprised, like, as a, like as they come standard, they sit, in my opinion, way too high. Like, even the, you know, the, the whole wheel arch, wheel gap thing is just for, for a GTI performance, sports, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, one of the first things you probably want to do if you got one of these is lower it, so. Yeah. How'd you feel, uh, Manji? Um, yeah, nah, not great. <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> not a whole lot of room back there. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not that, man. Like, like, <laughs> it's AJ's driving? Yeah, no, motion sick. <laughs> yeah. It's alright, there's, there's a window on either side of you yeah. if you need to let go. <laughs> I 
All right, guys, so uh, that was the Polo GTI in a nutshell. Um, electric steering, can't get much feedback, but sticks to the ground. Hope it sums it up well. Um, if you guys like that video, hit that like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing something different next video. Uh, I met up with this guy who can make some pretty cool paper models. So uh, keep in tune for that. And um, see you next week, fam. Peace out.